Ha 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 Oh wow, I just saw that there was a band that went through. Thank you, Dan. I don't know what happened, but appreciate you keeping an eye on the community and keeping it safe. Oh, hey, I apparently very much upset Firefox. That's fun. I guess let's get that started back up. Maybe. Holy cow. Wow, that really doesn't want to come back. I mean, if I have to, I'll go ahead and start uh, running Metroid. What happened here? Let's check Task Manager. Always a good sign when even Task Manager doesn't want to fully open up. Okay, there we go. We're back, kind of. Definitely not where we were musically, so uh, sorry for the whiplash here. Hey, I guess that'll work.
All right. My intent was to sit here during the uh, load time and keep working on my art, but that ate way more of my time than I expected. Also, not entirely sure on what I'm doing with this line art just yet. I'm very in between decisions on what I really want to do with it. Ooh, there's a problem there. figured that out. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is just end up redrawing this line art, because I don't, I don't like the way the composition on it came out. It's so, so sloppy. Like, I know that she's inherently a bit of a mess, just the way that she's drawn, but... Ah, this one, this one ain't cutting it for me. Even if I went over with an FX layer and started doing, like, all the lighting and shading, like, I still don't feel like the lines are where I want them to be. There's something wrong with the way I did the ears, so... Um, worse yet, I want to say that... Yeah... Let's see... Oh no, I did all that in a single pass. I need to remember to let go. Hmm. I did a lot to make that feel better in general, but it's still not. I'm gonna lose the line there and there because I had to. I had to do this. I don't know why I was so compelled to do so. Hey there, Sharp. How's it going, hon? Hope you're having a lovely evening. I'm dinking around in my art program while I'm waiting on my, my usual start time. But I, again, as I was saying, I think that I might end up uh, completely scrapping this one compositionally and starting over. <laughs> so here's the thing is like these components look good as they are but something's wrong about the way I arrange the horns something's wrong about like the perspective that they imply because her head's supposed to be tilted back but instead this is almost like a, a straight forward and that's where I start to see that that's uh, yeah. Have you? Oh, doing some homework. All right, that's pretty chill. We're gonna drop these lines as well, and we'll get started here on Super Metroid in just a moment. I just wanted to take a moment to try and see if there was anything I could do to fix the issues that I was having with my my design and composition here, but. I think I think I might know kind of where I want to go with it this time. So bring bones. And we'll get rid of the horns. It's really cute that I've got just the the eyelashes there. I don't know why oh it's at eighteen percent. Okay. That's still not doing it in a single pass, and I don't know why. That's strange. Because I can still, like, plainly see my own line art floating here still. And it shouldn't be. Bet you with the hair, too. 
I can still see part of the horn. Oh, I hate that. That's so frustrating. All right. Well, we're here now. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Let's see. Let me shut down what I'm working on here. Just kind of scrap the afternoon's work on that, and we'll we'll just have we'll, we'll call that practice. That was practice. <laughs> I feel good about these two being done so far, so like, with that, uh, it gives me hope that I, I, I can knock another one out of the ballpark with these. This is so cute on its own. There's something about it. Is this under the eyes? Yeah, okay. Alright, save that. We'll close this. And... Pause that, because we're about to get started on... If it wants to do, yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. And sorry to the folks that uh, are about to see an ad here right on coming in, but it's kind of the nature of Twitch. I have to finish the game with like five energy tanks. This is an awful idea. Oh, that's how I see. Now if I can remember what my control pattern was with all this. Alright, so we were down here in Meridia, and just got the gravity suit. Just killed Fantoon. And now, our goal is to get the plasma beam, but we're going to find some things along the way that imply the space pirates have been up to something even after the destruction of the ship in Zero Mission. I'm so tempted in this playthrough to actually use the space-time beam, which I wonder what that does to the... Uh, hmm. I wonder what that does to the endings. Oh no! <laughs> it's these things! Hmm. Wait a second. I don't think I heard that right. Okay, so, I know that I heard that. I know that I heard a door open here when I shot here. That's not supposed to happen. Hey there, Milky Taro. Thanks for dropping in. How's Minecraft going? What you working on? I saw a Metroid! Or was it? Close things down. Oh, right, because you got the movie coming up. Hmm. Apparently, maybe. Uh oh. True. Yeah. 
Allow me to defy physics a little bit. Through sheer force of will. <laughs> Hello. No. See if I can do this again. Works for me. Wait, what? Huh? Ah, fall only. Gotcha. Also, that's a really funny way to bypass, uh... Oh, I wonder if that actually was a physical bypass. Interesting. And then, to get back up, you would have to be able to space jump. How long does that stay gone? Or does it just stay gone? Because that's the case... Can I? Am I... Am I dexterous enough? Is my computer going to work with me for this? I don't think so. Okay. Nope, hands aren't having it today. We've done too much drawing and the hands aren't going to do it. It was worth a try. Little, little bit of gremlin physics. Uh-huh. I can freeze them? I didn't know that. I absolutely do not have the space jump, but for some reason the physics are allowing me to do some space jump-like movements. That's that's an interesting problem. You know, one of these days I'm going to have to play Shadowrun. That's one that like I would like to go much further into. And never quite had the attention span for before. Oh, I've been here. Okay. I didn't realize it was such a flat drop from there. So... Wait... Huh. Oh, one way in this direction. Gotta go back. Ow. Wow, that's a lot of super bombs. I'm glad that they're giving them to us, but I don't really need that. And this is a one way down. Ah, oh, frustrating. Well, there's a save point down here, and I'll take advantage of it. No. Uh, I hate that I have to... What the heck? I just saw a brief flash of my subtitles. What, what happened there? <laughs> Thank you. 
I had to put the heck of the HUD light clash of my subtitles, what would happen if about. Yeah, because that's totally a thing that I would say. Even the captions thinks I've, I've had some sort of incident recently. <laughs> How difficult is this game overall? Uh, it is Super Nintendo era platformers. It has a bit of floaty physics to it, but I was able to beat it when I was like, oh geez, uh, I mean, it's one of the first Super Nintendo games I ever beat, and it's one of the ones that's meant to be played through and beaten in uh, three hours or less. Like, it's, it's designed specifically for that and has different endings based on what your item clearance per percentage is and what your time is. Actually, I think in the uh, older ones even, so like, Metroid 1, 2, 3 uh, were all just time-based, like, however quickly you could do it. And there are speedruns for this that break just under an hour, if I remember correctly. Uh, my best times are usually like... Somewhere in the hour 45 area, uh, which puts me like between the second best and best ending in most cases. Like, I am not by any means a speedrunner. I'm just an avid player of the series. Um, I would say, though, that like Super Metroid is a good one to get in on if you're wanting to try one of the Metroid games. Just because this is the one that uh, a lot of mechanics for later games derived their ideas from here or are fleshed out ideas from here so it it feels like things make logical sense for you to do uh when you played this one and then go to one of the the later ones however if you go the other way around and you play the newer games first and then come back it can get a little uh alienating to play some of the earlier games like i just i struggle with playing the very first version of the very first metroid on the uh the old nes that's a waterborne space pirate i don't i completely forgot these guys were here oh hey wow i'm glad i saved first death that was the first time I've died on this. But yeah, I, I struggle to play the original version of Metroid 1 and 2. Um, they were great games and offered some fun mechanics and adventures for their time. No, you're good. I, I usually ramble while I'm playing this game. Like, th this is secondary to me, and I'm just kind of having fun. Uh, one of the things that I like about the series is that it feels good to move in Super Metroid and the later games. Uh, movement feels like you having agency. It doesn't feel like you're being restricted at all times. Although, uh, as I was saying before, you go to the earlier games, and that starts to become a thing. Um, even with this one, like... All of the movement has kind of a floaty, sluggish feel to it compared to the more recent uh, entries in the series. But where was I going with this? Ah! Can you shoot diagonally? I can't remember. I think you only shoot forward. Yeah. Okay. Uh. The the later games have like a much more bouncy, uh, reactive feel to it. And if you've got a uh, high dexterity in general, also I want to point out that she bubbles if you stand still in Meridia. Like she's actually breathing out. There there are filters in her suit. That's interesting to me. I've never actually noticed that mechanically before. Um, but it, it feels good even more so to move in the in the later ones. And if you've got dexterity you developed from playing the previous entries, you can use that to your advantage. Like, in Super Metroid, they introduce the wall jump, which, if you're in a somersault and uh, you hit a wall and then reverse angle, you can bounce off them. And you can do that eternally. 
And uh, they don't allow you to do that in uh, Metroid 1 and 2. But every game thereafter does. And I want to say that uh, every game thereafter also starts adding the ability to grab onto ledges, which you cannot do in this one. Oh, that is a hole that I don't want to be in. That doesn't even hurt him. That's wild. And that's, uh... Hmm. Just kind of idly wandering while thinking. This game is delightful. Like, no matter... Whoa. <laughs> no matter where I'm at, um, psychologically, emotionally, whatever, this game is just relaxing to me. Even in the most challenging moments. Uh, that cannot... The, the same cannot be said for Metroid Dread. That game actually is, like, legitimately stressful because it feels like you're being hunted because you are. <laughs> Hence the title that they gave it to. Oh, there's a hole in the wall there. Thank you, little Meridian. It's one wide. Nice. Extra missiles. Oh no. I got pushed back. Well, I guess I'll go... Oh, thank you. I will do so. Ah, grab my drink here. Thank you for the hydrate. Now, like, as far as personal favorites in the series, one of the ones that I really enjoyed the most is uh, one of the more recent entries I played, um, AM2R, which isn't even an official game. It's another Metroid 2 remake, which has a varied history that I find also very entertaining. It's the last major cease and desist order Nintendo sent out because the the team that created the game um, released it right before it turned out Nintendo themselves were about to release their own remake for Metroid 2, which had been a secret up until that point. Oh, the power up went away. Relight my thing here. Ah, oh, nice. I love that the game gives you little healing stations of enemies to fight, so you can refill. Like, it doesn't always have, uh, places where you can actually heal. Instead, the game consistently did this, and then started adding healing stations later. Ooh, we finally started filling the reserve tank. I forgot that was even a thing. Thank you. 
Alright, that's it. Hello? Very interesting. Very interesting. Well, I'm going to go back. Ah! to accidentally do that repeatedly. Hell yeah! Love those. <clears throat> Super missiles are so nice. Just burn right through bosses. I don't think there's anything else in this room. Okay. It's funny because I'm. I changed my uh, keyboard layout just slightly from the original layout that I used when I played this when I was younger. And I don't know why I ended up sticking with this, but it is working. It's just changing the order of which fingers are doing what in a way that they never had to. So what did I... Why did I come here? Why did I come to this spot specifically? I need to get into that laboratory, but I don't remember how. I need to go... That's the plasma beam. Hmm... How the heck do I get there? Okay, none of that is a thing I can do. helpful that wasn't what I needed. 
Uh, oh, right. There's the whole laboratory entrance here. I completely forgot. Thank you, and thank you. And we can save, which is super handy. Let's see here. Okay. This room is fun for many reasons. Got to figure out how to break the roof up there. Mock droids. They're not quite Metroids. This is what I was talking about with the interesting experiments the space pirates appear to be up to. I used to, like, always want to, uh, ensure that I left them alone, left them alive, just because I felt bad for them. They're the only Moctroids in existence. Hey, it's Ceres! Hey, bud. You slithery little fellow. Rah! the namesake of my ranger. Another fight that just doesn't feel necessary. It feels like I'm just harassing the local fauna. Poor guy. Didn't deserve that. Like, really didn't.
Like, I don't have to kill them. I, I really don't. I can just freeze them and leave them. It's only necessary to kill the actual Metroids, which I find interesting. Like, you don't... Uh, you don't have to uh, kill these guys. Aw, I got that one. I'll probably come through here and actually fight a... Oh, is that, an, is that a missile reach pill depot? Energy. I mean, that's not bad. If you're stuck in a room with a bunch of mock droids, that's like not a bad thing. Love those Chozo save chambers. Canonically, uh, they save her quantum state. And so she's just being digitally backed up, which says interesting things about like how Chozo warriors ooh exist. Okay, these spikes are false, and this is also false. That is a. I did not realize there's a missile upgrade there. That's funny. I've missed that multiple times then. And for this battle, I won't even need missiles. I just realized. Well, this I'll need missiles for. Hello! This fight, we're gonna use something else. Oh, I guess I do need missiles to initially damage these. It's these guys again. Wonder what's up with them. All right, here we go. We don't appear to be doing damage, Captain. Hello. I don't remember this guy's name, but I hate them. <laughs> uh-huh. There we go. Ow. There we go. And that's why we didn't need missiles. Again, harassing random wildlife. Not entirely sure why, other than the fact that it seemed to be guarding this room. An important piece of technology. It allows you to perform the wall jump technique in the air. Speaking of space pirates, uh, we have mantises that just hatched in in our yard, and it makes me really happy. I got to go hang out for about 10 seconds with one that tried to jump on a grasshopper that I startled. <laughs> it was really funny.
I don't remember these blue ones. Ow. It's a lot of nukes though, and I, I appreciate that. Because we were running low before. Uh, there's no way to start a spin jump unless you're already moving. That's frustrating. Who is messaging me? I'm about to turn off Discord. I'll have to come back to that. Also, is my... Great. All right, one sec, folks. I just noticed that upon closing Discord, I just upset uh, OBS, so. <laughs> What's messed up is, like, I know that for absolute certain, I fixed this. I've already fixed this before. There isn't a reason for it to be doing it again. It's not that. Like, supposedly, it's a Discord call. Ah, there is a Discord call group that's showing up there, and it shouldn't be. That's so weird. Yeah, that was supposedly already fixed. Go figure. That's frustrating. Oh yeah, another strange effect of the uh, space jump. After a while, it just stops working. You drop straight out of the sky for no reason. And it's not a matter of like you, you're you limited to five jumps or whatever like it was in Prime. No, it's just the game being strange. The engine arbitrarily deciding, no, you're not allowed to jump right now. One thing that will reset it though is if your spin jump is still functional, if you're still spinning, uh, you'll be able to I just spaced. It's the plasma beam. <laughs> wow, I really don't remember what I was saying. That's fine, though. Now I can fight space fires. <laughs> Much stronger piercing weapon. More big powerful. And we keep falling out of the sky. Oh, you have to defeat these space pirates. That is interesting, though, that I I only had just kind of noticed uh, in this playthrough that there were other space pirates hanging out underwater in this world. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, I needed the space jump to go down there. Why? Why are we like this? Now this time, things are a little bit different in this room. I kind of feel bad, those only exist in this room. Is this the existence of a hidden room? Like, this seems like the, the place that I would end up using the space-time beam if I was going to use it anywhere specifically. Okay, next up. How do I get there? And... I already beat the boss here. I guess I could just drop down into Brinstar from here, make a left. Yeah, we'll do that. On top of that, it's a one way from there. Can I continue along the floor? That's an energy tank. I do want to go there then. I mean, it might be a missile, but I think it's an energy tank. Thank <laughs> you. 
Little turtle friends. They're so cute. Also very satisfying to just run right through a pirate. Okay. So that handles that. <laughs> We're up 50% from where we were on our previous health budget, which is great. I want to say, on average, it takes me about 8 health tanks to burn through the Mother Brain's lair, so... 6 plus a reserve isn't bad. Alright, we're gonna make a left. <laughs> And also, pause here for just a moment. Take a bite of my burrito.
Hey, I've been muted. Hey there, ZK. How you doing, hon? There we go. Right, invisible boulders. Uh, doing good. Having, having a delicious burrito, playing some Super Metroid, one of my favorite platformers of all time. Getting a chance to ramble a little bit about the series to folks that aren't familiar with it. Sorry. Oh, oh. Pota Potasio be like. Well, thank you for the follow, Potasio be like. Appreciate having you in. <laughs> Feel free to make yourself comfortable. We're just chilling out. Not entirely sure what I'm even going to do after this, but, uh,. We'll see. I never did check back there. I don't need to, though. Let's see if we take the route up. I don't have the screw attack yet, so I can't do certain things. And I'm trying to remember, like, am I thinking of the wrong map when I when I think of what I'm about to try? Oh no! Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because I have space jump anyways. It's a little horseshoe dragon that's forgot about these guys. <laughs> now that we have the space jump, we can also explore certain parts of the wrecked ship that we couldn't before. I wonder if I don't need the screw attack. I'm sure I need the screw attack. Okay, that's also really funny is that you can you get pulled through these rooms. This is absolutely meant for after you have the screw attack. Okay. Uh, where... I don't remember where I get it. I don't remember where I get it. It's really frustrating. Okay. 
Oh. All right, I guess. I guess we'll head back to Brinstar. are immune. The charge run doesn't affect them. Interesting. It's pretty resilient. Pretty much everything in the game is weak to charge run. Hmm. This is also a space pirate elevator. I only just noticed that. Reserve tank. Nice. Just stacking up all the goodies now. It's another power bomb room down there. I'm gonna run through here. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Neighbor dog starts barking. Why? Evil. Dang it. This is the thing that teaches you about the Shine Spark. I forgot their name. It's Etikuns and... What are your names? I don't remember what your name is. But you're really cool and you teach me how to do the charge run. I beat you here. And now... Oh no. I'm sorry, bud. There you go. Now you can go hang out with your little egg. It takes a while to fall. It's like... It's like Breckenair, but I don't remember what the actual name of the bird thing is. But we're about to go meet the Etikuns as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, that's a way you can... Interesting. Like, definitely not supposed to be a thing that you can do, and it's obviously not canon the way that so many other things in the game are. But I might be able to actually get into the, the hidden worlds, or hidden rooms? I think it's called hidden rooms in the Metroid series. By doing that. Essentially, the back rooms. The back rooms of platforming. Oh. I tried so many times to find some way to be able to use the kinetic force of the shine spark out here, but... Don't get to, unfortunately. Okay. What else is over here? Uh... The orange room that requires grapple beam and space. It's so weird that, like, I have this information in my head still after all this time. Hell yeah. That's a lot of energy tanks all at once. Like nearly doubled my health. You there, Buster? Sorry, just took a bite of my burrito. <laughs> How's it going, hun? Okay, and then I wanted to do a power bomb into that other chasm. Should probably save too. This will be yet another energy tank. Now I see why, like, I never bothered to focus on where I get them, because they're just all in my path. And I seem to have them fully memorized. Like, maybe not fully, but... I'm starting to think that maybe I actually do know how to 100% this off of memory alone. from these cuties! Wait. Huh? Wait a sec. Oh, it's a fall only. Okay. tank here. Floor false. Ha! <laughs> Be back soon. I'm gonna go buy lunch. Enjoy! Hmm. 
That was uncomfortable. Ba -ba 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 -bum. And then they teach you how to wall jump. If you hadn't figured it out yet, this far into the game, after already having um, the power bomb, but they're supposed to teach you how to get in here. Thank you, bud. I love that they sing your song to you, though. They know the song. It's so cute. The Edicoons are great. Little green gremlins that live on Zebes. Actual Zebesians. Oh, the little animations as they jump off the wall. Like, watch their watch little faces. They're so cute! Ah! Is that really everything here? I guess we'll continue down to Norfair. Dang. Let's see here. That's Fantoon. That's Craid. That's. Oh, wait. No, I. Hmm. Wait a sec. No, I still have to fight Ridley. I was like. Did I already beat all the bosses? No, I didn't. I did not. Gotta go kick that dragon's ass. Alright, let's go. Face me. Up to... Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we head down here. Oh, that is not what I meant to use, but okay. Care to uh, We're just gonna go down to Norfair. I cannot remember exactly how to get there. Or not Norfair, but uh Ridley's lair specifically. The Magmore Caverns. Or the Chozo Ruins Mark Three. Because there's a lot of Chozo Ruins.
<laughs> Hyper advanced technology can't get through this hole. Wow, the last time I came through here, I didn't have nukes yet? Hello. Was it a wave beam issue? Was it a was it a gravity suit thing? What stopped me com from coming through here before? Cause that's just healing. You know, I could use a refill on the heavy weapons. Not capable of dropping power bombs, apparently. Okay. We'll see where this takes us. Testing that anti ghosting. Oh no! False shine spark! Always fun. How how good is this? Okay, not bad. I didn't come through here before because why? That's why. Gotcha. Yeah, brute forcing that would have sucked. Wait a sec. Really? Okay. So much better than the grappling beam. Like, I love the grappling beam. It's great. It's just not easy or fun to use at all. It's just a neat artifact to have. Is there anything we... No? Okay. And it was the super bomb, power bomb, that was stopping us from coming through here before, it turns out. 
Alright, so we hit about the hour and a half point. I'm going to go ahead and pause here and really, really enjoy the ramp up to the fun, fun song, one of my favorite songs in the entirety of the Metroid series, the theme to Ridley's Cave or Lower Magmore Caverns if you played the Prime series. And I think a couple of other games have like had light motifs that hint towards it, but we'll get into it. This song, though, is a preamble that leads into it on purpose. So we're going to go ahead and hit our be right back. But we're going to leave the spooky Omnimounts playing. And I'll see you folks in just about five minutes. actually going to turn off my air conditioning for a while. I'm getting cold. <laughs> I kind of feel silly um, doing this this way because I'm still going to reset the game and load from this save here just so that we don't burn the the time too bad i know that five minutes is like not going to make a big difference but this is two different play sessions so that actually can stack up enough that it'll affect the ending like one or two minutes off is is like whatever i've been dinking around 15 minutes however <laughs> that can be a bit much oh I'm so tempted to start a whole new campaign of Hollow Knight after all of this. Of all things, like, I did not actually enjoy my playthrough of Hollow Knight that much. Uh, that was one of the last major platformers that I got legitimately tilted at. Some of the challenges, some of the fights just felt bad. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and... Switch back. <laughs> oh no, oh no.
Ah. Two hours and five minutes, so we've already, like, went way above and beyond where I would want to be for the time. That's unfortunate. We'll get the bad ending, but whatever. We've been having fun. <laughs> it's interesting hearing it stop on a single note like that. Okay. They're immune. Oh no. That's interesting that I'm actually being blocked by them in this manner. Because I don't... I don't know? Am I not supposed to get into this room? Is this a not yet kind of deal? Or... Because I, I know that going left is like going to take me to the, the actual thing. Wow, everything here is so crazy! <laughs> This is all fall. Yep, okay, so I was not supposed to come in here. That's really funny. Okay. I don't mind the challenge of having the low health and all that. <laughs> okay, there would have been no way for me to like properly carry that shine sparks through this room. But dang, that would have been fun. No. Hmm. Oh, I got caught there. This place is so cool. Huh. I think it's the first time that you see uh Torizo like lower the lava level as a lever or switch. Oh, this fight might be terrible. If this is where I think I'm going immediately. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, I can freeze these now? And I can't destroy them. Not yet. <laughs> Oh, this fight. I'm probably going to lose this fight. I'm gonna... Oh, no. Well, never mind. I was gonna run back. Hello! Ow! Hi! I don't like you. I mean, you can throw my nukes back at me, but I'm gonna just keep blasting you in the chest with these. Yeah. I got the energy tanks for this this time, bud. You might be able to stop one, but you can't stop 30. 
So, what was this Tori's of keeping protected? Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> the iconic, the one and only, Screw Attack. One of the most powerful weapons in Samus's arsenal. The ability to use Space Jump as a weapon. Space Jump is a cool ability, but without the Screw Attack, it's only half complete. Now, however, I can destroy things that I couldn't even have destroyed with my Plasma Beam. Already a formidable weapon. In fact, I want to say that there's actually stuff that I can... I need to go look at the roof of this room. Okay. Nothing else in here? Interesting. Was there anything else that I missed in these other rooms? No? Okay. Well, I suppose it's time to go kick Ridley's ass. <laughs> Rocket Lobsters! I love these guys. Actually, I should probably farm them a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to come across a uh, missile. Oh, there's no nuke refill depot anyway, so I'm going to need these guys. I love rocket lobsters. They're great. One of the best creatures in the series. Get more of these. What's over here? Ah, I see. Whoa, I don't remember what that is. Oh yeah, you can also deflect uh, incoming attacks with the screw attack. Yet another overpowered ability. It makes her nearly intangible. Ow. Boulder. Boulders of the gate. Answer that. <laughs> ba -ba 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 oh. I am not going to get the... Not anytime soon, so... Oh, it really is meant to be... Okay.
Wait. <sighs> no. No. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll move on. I'm sorry, folks. This is exactly what I mean by dinking around, by the way, is this kind of garbage. Hello? Don't even care. Red Queens. Hold up. That put me way the hell up here. What on earth? But there is a save point there, so it is easy to come back. I don't know if I can necessarily get back into that slot easily, but I am I am going to save here. Mmm, chocolate covered espresso beans. I understand now. That's why they pop up like that. Oh no! How did I one-shot it? It shouldn't have happened! Why? Hmm. You know, I used to be good at bomb jumps. Ah, until I took an arrow in the knee. This takes me to the underside of the wave beam, and of course I frame step it. I need to find out what the uh, unpause hotkey is, because that's, that's a frustrating one. Unaffected by your non-acidic lava. Unaffected, this isn't the magma. Oh, you. These guys' little smiling faces. Wait a sec. Huh. I never tried to come back in that way. Let's see, there's an energy recharge station over there. And this is the entrance to this place.
But it's fall only from there. I know I messed up something in the order of like where I was supposed to go here, but dang. I looped out on accident, and it was not the... That was the exit for after the battle. I just kind of missed the way to get to Ridley in the first place to go kick his ass. Just ran right past him. Because he's hiding. He knows what's coming. <laughs> Hell yeah. I suppose that works. Yeah! None of you can affect me. I don't even need the energy refill. Rocket Lobster! That's funny, they, like, ensure you can open this door. So was this always an entrance? It was. Ah. Was not aware. Okay. <clears throat> Ribs, they go crunch. Hello? Can I please go up? Game? Hello? <laughs> Don't make me wall jump as a necessity even while I have the space jump. That's messed up. Okay, this is an exit that doesn't take me where I want to go. takes me to this room. Like, why arbitrarily make that a sp Oh, Benzidium. And it's also really funny that I suddenly remember the name. Uh, of course. point of this like I know I'm supposed to get away from the lava but architecturally I'm also a little confused here it's just out of place this this room in general and that takes me up on this loop 
I must have skipped something. Hmm. There it is. Hello. 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 Save room. Ah. The song feels like a reward for like having made it so far and kicked so much butt. Makes me happy. This is the one. No? Okay, well. Wow, the amount of shots it takes with the uh, plasma beam versus just screw attack. Screw attack everything. <laughs> if it's inorganic, power bomb. If it's organic, screw attack. Ow. Ow, I got kicked by an alien. Right, these are the elites. So much trouble fighting the two commandos. There's one. Alright, bud. Let's do this. Come on. I know you've been training. You've been training. You've been getting your reps in. Unfortunately, still a space pirate. I love the architectural motifs here. Also, all the Chozo statues, but they're warrior statues. They're not scientist statues, which we've run across a lot of in our adventures throughout the series. But these are warrior statues. Do I want to try this? Or do I want to go get some healing first? This will take a second, I do apologize. But it is necessary for the fight. 
And it makes certain there's no other place to, like, save, get your weapons recharged. This is supposed to be a difficult battle. And you're expected to wait, like, do you want to burn your time and thereby potentially burn your ending? Or do you want to ensure that you're going to make it through this fight? Now, in a speedrun, this is excruciating. This is an amount of time that is just, you don't want to have to go through it. You want to have conserved your ammo and resources and health along the way. It's not always an option. Also, we are three upgrades away from having full super missiles. We only have half of the missiles and a little over half of the, the super bombs. So that's pretty cool. Alright, close enough. Let's go. Hey there, bud. So, this fight is uh, supposed to be a bit more emotional than it leads up to being. Um, and they, they definitely like add to that in later iterations of the story. But in this case, you're expected to be a little pissed off over the fact that you've already fought Ridley before. And in fact, in uh, Zero Mission, things get a little strange because we kill a robotic entity that is very similar to Ridley. The first instance of Mecha Ridley uh, chronologically. But, on top of that, we've already fought uh, really a few times. We also dealt with Ridley stealing the Metroid, which is the whole reason that we're here on this planet, dealing with all this again. And to make matters like even more uh, punctual, punctuated, Ridley killed Samus' parents. Like, is directly responsible for the bombing run that destroyed the colony that Samus came from in the first place and led to her having to take refuge with the Chozo. And that's why she's here. Why she kicks his ass every time. And the baby's gone. Somehow got out. Now we have to go find it. Wait a sec. Oh, okay. There's an energy tank here? How did I miss that every previous playthrough? Full health. The lava's gone in this room, too. Ba -da 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 
And this is what I mean by having, like, missed where uh, we were supposed to go in the first place. Because, dang, we were, like, so close, and yet so far. No! I'm trying to save, dang it! is going to be the quickest route out of here. <sighs> yeah, there's nothing there. It really looks like there should be. Also, the the giant boulders are so weird to me. I've been accidentally performing that ability for a minute. That takes me back out to Norfolk this way. Okay. Now we can save. Again. Which I guess I don't need to because I just saved. And the way out of here is up there. Vertical rocket lobsters. Much more squishable. I guess I'll stop my ship for the full refueling. It's going to be the quickest way to get most of that. <laughs> also a space pirate platform. They got really far into Zebeth. 
Dang. Can I destroy these yet? No. The answer is no. Oh, I also want to note that we have all the components necessary now to create the space-time beam. If I want to go about that. Which I might. I actually might do that as a, a fun little easter egg thing after we, we finish the main story here. We'll go back, reload, and go back in time. I want to see if it resets the in-game save. Oh, everything here is destructible now. Sounds like it's getting to be just about time for the party. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just like tear through from the top. I'm gonna get in shortly. All right. I guess I should drop down in the ship first. I can just do this. Nothing. We wiggle. We continue wiggling. care enough to go after that other missile. I just don't. I have plenty. Hello. Ah. 
150 missiles is easily enough to take on the Metroids. You only need 70 or so. It's like, actually do it. This place is so spooky. Look, it's all the people we killed. What's happening? Oh no! Hmm. Extra hot lava. Hello. Yee. So many of you. New type of creature that we can't even destroy with the screw attack. A Torizo, completely destroyed. Left to Ash? In fact, an entire room full of Ash. Everything, even the little lobster things. Hello, still can't destroy you. And that would be why. Ugh. Hey, bud. You got out. And you've been out for a while. Uh. Decided not to eat her.
Well. At least you remembered who Mom was. It's me. I'm Bird Mom. <laughs> You acquired one missile. Hey there, Nine Gosling. How's it going? We're about to finish the end of Metroid 3. I suppose I'll save right here. Forgot to charge stuff for the evening, giving it a bit to energize. That's valid. I want to say my stuff's charged. I was actually originally going to do a VR stream, and then I remembered that I could actually hang out in VR today. So I decided I would do that. Ah, I forgot what these are called. That ability is so cool, but it hurts so much. Weird ass Mother Metroid looking neck. I only just now realized that. So, Mother Brain's been working on some some technology in the in the background apparently, and has created a new type of energy weapon that may or may not be psionically based. We're not sure. Hard to say. Could be technologically based. Problem being, she managed to actually break the shielding on my armor and shut down life support. My screen is completely black. I can't do a damn thing. But the baby, the baby can do something. The baby could do something. A very powerful entity. Thank you, bud. 
Ah, uh, apparently she's not gone yet, though. Come on, come on, let's go. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. We can do this together. You don't have to protect. Come on, let's go, let's go. No! Come on! You bitch. And it was in that moment, the Mother Bane realized she had fucked up. So if you look over here real quick, all of our weapons have their own, like, little entries. And before, if we went into the beam section of our weapons, you would be able to see, like, Ice Wave, Spazer, Plasma, Charge. And you can turn them on and off for special effects. In fact, for this entire playthrough, I didn't use any of them, but I, I should have shown them off because they're a fun little, like, Easter egg thing to secret, but not necessary in gameplay. But it can be used as a alternative means of, of playing the game. Uh, in this case, though, it appears that all of our beams have been overwritten, and our screen is flashing with one word over the top. And this is all, like, canonical to the story if you read the comics and everything. One word. Hyper. Samus is pissed. She's had enough today. Had to deal with Ridley. Had to deal with Kraid. Had to deal with Fantoon. And the giant floating fish monster. And all she wanted was to hang out with her little jellyfish friend, drop them off to go hang out with some scientists, and then safely make her way to get some coffee. But no. We had to end up here. And again, these are all canonical themes that I know about the game. She just wanted to get coffee. <laughs> Pizza time! She completely skipped that part of the map. Nope, no thank you, not dealing with it. My internal measure of how long three minutes is, uh, huh? Cause that clock is actually counting. Also, I will note that doors, uh, doors seem to stop time, which explains another part of the the Chozo technology that is the space-time beam. All the things running through Samus' head as she's like climbing her way out of here. Hey, wait a sec. Something ain't right here. Wait. Yeah, I was gonna say. Wait, what? Hold up. Oh, wait, no? Are they up here? Oh, they are up here. I seriously thought they... Huh? Okay, now I'm confused. I was gonna go save my friends. Is it... They're not... Are they in the room where the Toriza was? Is that what it is? I think that is what it is. Okay, well, let's go save our friends. There's a reason that this room is still open. Why do I think that it's in the other... What's in that room, then? Hey, hey there. Hey, guys. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Please. Please. Please go. Please. Thank you. Here. <laughs> 
Dakura. Edicoons and Dakura. The the name of the ostrich thing. <sighs> 30 seconds left to spare. Did not make good time on everything else, but here's an interesting thing about the Edicoons. We're not entirely sure just how sentient they are. Not entirely sure. But what I just did, you know, opening the wall up for them and that last one hanging out to say goodbye, because that was what was happening, they were hanging out to say goodbye. Watch to the right. There they go. Oh no, my head is in the way. Well, anyways. <laughs> they they took off in their own vessel. In the middle of that giant explosion, they managed to get out using space pirate vessels or whatever. Like, don't know if they had their own ship, but the Yetacoons are capable of space flight. They're capable of understanding uh, Federation common language, which is also really interesting to me. But yeah. This was, ah, uh, this was a delight. I'm so glad that people got to, like, join in on this silly little adventure. I may actually continue the story and do, uh, Metroid 4 next, Fusion. Want to know what their next destination was? It turns out their next destination was another planet nearby, but not inside the same system. Um... I don't want to spoil a whole lot because, like, the intro to Metroid 4 goes into, like, what what happens next. Ah, this was so good. Love it. I don't- I don't want to skip the music because it's the only time you get to hear, like, the entire fanfare. Wow. Dan Osen. And all of R and D one staffs. What a wonderful game. Oh <laughs> yeah, that silly little filter. Produced by Deer Force. The team Shikamaru. Oh, I got it under! I got it under the time necessary to at least do get the Justin Bailey ending. Hell yeah. Very nice. Your rate for collecting items was 75%. Wow, I wasn't even trying. <laughs> that was fun. That was good. That feels good. Okay. Now, I'm kind of curious. Do I want to bother trying to emulate? Do I want to try doing the space-time beam on my own? Or do I just want to, like, pull the video of it? Ah, <sighs> What a game. What a game. <laughs> oh, wow. There's, like, 
This is a uh, soft lock. You can't get out as soon as it, it gets to this part. Rewind is disabled. I wonder what that means. Fast forward. Oh, well, that's trippy to watch. All right, cool. Let's close out of that for now. Ah. Oh, of course, as soon as I finish the game, more people drop in. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, folks. Yeah, we just beat the game. Um, let's go ahead and change that category before it summons more people looking to see Super Metroid. And I'm, I'm trying to decide, do I want to just start Fusion? Good game, good game. Yeah, let's see. It's... You know, if I drop into VR right now, everybody is... Hmm. My problem has been lately, I, I try to go into VR and uh, I just fall asleep <laughs> like way too early and I'm trying not to do that. I want to I want to be there for some of the later crowd. Uh. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the, the next Metroid uh, fusion. Thirty-one thousand followers. Whoa! I didn't realize that many people were into Metroid. That's really cool to see. I love seeing the support for for such a long-running series. Uh oh. Uh oh. What did I do here? Let's see. Open. Options, video, full screen. Yep. Hey OBS, you wanna you wanna give me my my detection of my game? Uh. VBA. What's going on here? Well, that's definitely not it. <laughs> Everything broke. All right, I'll be right back, folks. I gotta, I gotta fix a thing here because that is not displaying correctly. Discard, discard, transition. Let's fix this. Don't want to necessarily like, go through the entire uh, file architecture here while I'm, while I'm doing that live on the air. Uh, what happened? VBA, come on. Oh, now now it just works. Now it just works. Okay. Sure. Thanks, game. Just show off the file architecture first for the hell of it, I guess. <laughs> cool. Uh, make certain that's on the right one. And... I'd been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team. So I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. SR388, the place we were just at, not Zebeth, the place before, the place that we blew up because, wait a second, the place we blew up, we blew up part of SR388 in the, uh, when we destroyed the Metroid Queen, the, the Chozo temple that was there, and well, laboratory, it's really hard to say because, like, the scientists had a reverence in a in a very mythological. Uh, hmm, they're viewed mythologically by other species inside the universe, but like, they existed in the time that she's been alive. She's actually met a couple of them at this point in the story. So it's really interesting to note that, like. There's still laboratories out there, and it's it's hard to say how old they are or, like, how long they've been abandoned when you get to them. Anyway, she found herself on the surface of SR388. Remember this room? 
Remember this room? I remember this room. I walked in this room and was like, no way. No way. Is this the room? This is that room. It's a hornode. But it's not a hornode. Something's wrong. It was there that I encountered that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before I impact. Biologics vessel recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light the organic comp Oh wow, I'm looking at this now. She was not that buff before she acquired the gravity suit. It was actually enhancing her organically as well. That was a fibrous uh, a fibro muscle suit. That's neat to realize. Cause she wasn't that buff before. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X and my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then... Aww! Thank you, Nyan Gosling! Appreciate the gift sub! Baconator, enjoy the su- the, uh... <laughs> the emote. Jeez. <laughs> then, someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. I can't believe that the researchers actually managed to translate some of the Chozo script and figure out that the the X parasite was the natural... Uh, I'm sorry, that, they'll, they'll tell us later. <laughs> it seems that the Federation... There we go. Had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X-Parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. Also, the text there is in Chozo. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived, reborn, as something different. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid Hatchling my life twice over. We'll soon be arriving at the PSL research station. I must prepare I must prepare for docking. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to biologic space labs, or BSL research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. Yeah? For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I'm being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computer ICO is something I have to bear as was well condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I've found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other commanding officer. Also, her rental ship is gorgeous. It is so pretty. And it's Galactic Federation tech, so it's inspired by her Chozo hardware. Like, they've obviously been looking at what she's been using and working off of it. This is a beautiful ship. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. 
The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR-388 as well as parts of your suit infected by the X-Parasites. The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way, a blink from there. Is your objective clear? Now go to the quarantine bay. Oh, I love that you could actually like see her breathing in this. Like the the fidelity of the graphics, even though this is going from the Super Nintendo to the Game Boy Advance, like they did so well at making use of the full palette the best they could. Also, the the fact that like the sprites are separate, so that when she turns to one side, her gun is in the correct hand, and she's having to hold it like bolster with her other arm from way further down the arm. She doesn't have nearly as much of the uh, biological augmentation that was, she was getting previously from the power suit, let alone the upgrades from the various suit and the gravity suit. Everything's a little messed up. But she does still have the long beam, which is good. Oh, I don't need to... Uh, there's no run button anymore. That's handy. Okay. Ah, they changed the physics of, of the uh, motion in this, so you can't... Let's see. Yeah, you cannot infinitely jump off of the same wall. <laughs> Furry run, furry run, furry run. Oh, that is such a freaky image. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, can't go anywhere here yet. Oh, what's this? Can't go there either. Got it. That's the nav room. Alright, bud. The quarantine bay is ahead. Biosigns are confirmed. Be careful. Thank you. Let's go. Well, here's where the explosion happened. Nom 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 nom! Also, uh, fun thing now, she can just kind of eat the, the X-Parasites when she runs across them. And I'm just going to avoid giving a whole lot of spoilers for the the information in this, because, like, normally I would explain a lot of this away, but this is the game. This is the game where you learn a lot of this stuff. This is where they started going really, really lore-heavy and story-heavy. I love it. This is your... This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X-Parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor sand one. The gelatinous X-Parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X-infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems the Mexroids were the main predators of the X. See, this is why I need to not explain things away for this specific game. <laughs> That's why the vaccine works so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish your health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way, so preserve free X parasites whenever you possibly can. This station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I am already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. 
This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you're only a 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Now, get going. I have released the lock on level 0 hatches. Look for blinking hatches. So all the gray ones. Okay, can't open green yet. God, I love the music in this. Yo! New save room. We got Coolman's. Can't go there yet. Okay. So that's what the X parasites look like when they invade a human host. Remember these from uh, Zero Mission? Apparently they were on Zebeth. And now we get to find out what the uh, SR388 infected versions look like. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Is your objective clear? With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. That computer reminds me of a Gruff Federation CO I served under named Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on missions. From anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic. But Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. So if you can send and receive quantum lock data, are they just storing her armor, like the rest of her power suit, in a weapons locker somewhere, and she's only being authorized to to have that weaponry? Hmm. Galactic Federation, I question some of the things you do. What's up? Hey, Adam. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to get to the target. It's located here. I'm reading huge bio signs, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can use the recharge room or, re or absorb a special type of X parasite. You'll see them. Try it out. Missiles are your only hope. Do not hesitate to use them. Now, find a way to the target. Introducing the ability to do climbing mechanics in this.
Whoa. Hello. I remember you. This thing's name is Arachnus. So I always found interesting. Because, like, it's not spider-like at all. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, something else came through here. Blew up something very large. Recharge room. Okay. Now I can do a little bit of exploring before being told to go back and do very specific things and go to certain places and all that fun stuff. Uh, let's see. Hey, bud. Samus, it's as I feared. The breeding environments have been invaded by X parasites. Sector 1, SRX, shows several abnorma abnormalities on biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of the SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator, get access to shaft, and use elevator 1. Is your objective clear? Use a navigation room just inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the X into the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. Uh... Would you look at that? That... Jack, like, how? How did they find him? He was inside of a cave full of lava and acid that got blown up. The entire planet got blown up and they managed to find him? I blew him to pieces! And she blew that wall to pieces. Hey, what's up, Samus? Yeah, same. I love how they show off just how powerful the missiles are when used inappropriately. She, like, has all of her stuff set to very key specific settings, but, like, if you're an entity that just doesn't care... Alright, I can't actually go to any of these other places yet, so I'm just gonna go where it tells me. The Yellow Vader. Oh. oh, managed to pop my back. That feels nice. All right, Adam, what's up? Tell me what we're up to. The main elevator leading to the access shaft has been severely damaged. 
It will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. Some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful, certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. The X and Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They're already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? Now get moving. Can't open those doors yet. Oh, I can't open any doors yet. Okay. Hi. Some sort of pseudo Metroid? Convergent evolution? Like, why was that so nucleated in such a way? Why was it trying to drain my energy in that manner? Was that a mock droid? Was that an X-Parasite Mockdroid? Hmm. Atmospheric Stabilizer Online. Board units still malfunctioning. Atmospheric stabilizer online. Three units still malfunctioning. Wow, that hurts. A lot. Two energy tanks? Not enough. Not enough for that kind of experimentation. We have pseudo space pirates. They took space pirate specimens. Zebezian space pirates on top of that. Hello, little crab. From Meridia. Uh, we got nothing of great interest here. Two units still malfunctioning. Love the horn in the background.
Love those doors. They're cool looking. Wait, really? I could just... <laughs> okay. I see. Uh-huh. Save room! Ah! Let me get that charge beam. So strange that you choose to look like this. Gimme. Charge beam ability recovered. Press and hold B to charge. Oh, I love the way that it animates. It's so smooth. Ba, 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 ba. All atmosphere, all stabilizers online. Atmospheric levels equalized. Thank you, Etikun Training. Okay. That leaves us with far left. That was that whole zone. Shine Spark. Atmospheric stabilizers online. But many eggs have already made it to other sectors, it seems. In particular, Sector 2, Tropical Habitat, shows abnormalities. I suspect the X entered this sector with the help of our uns unseen saboteur. He or it may be in TRO now. Samus, get over there. We need to put an end to this. Is your objective clear? Start moving. I'll brief you at the TRO navigation room. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He would end the orders by saying, Any objections, lady? 
He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer too. It's so pretty here! I have learned the identity of our mystery saboteur. Samus, it's an X mimicking you. I have it named the SAX. I've named it the SAX. I believe the SAX comes with the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached the capsules containing all the X that started this disaster. But the SAX is definitely our biggest worry right now. The SAX is mimicking you at full power. You can't face it. If you see the SAX, just run. Don't think about fighting. You are still very vulnerable to cold and unexpected side effect of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the SAX is armed with the ice beam. Stay away. If you see it, just run. HQ says they have bomb data ready in the data room. Bombs will help you find a way out if the SAX traps you. The data room is here, but it's sealed by a level 1 hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the level 1 locks. But per safety protocols, it's not marked on the map. You'll have to find it on your own somehow, Samus. So first, find the security room and unlock level 1 hatches. Then go to the data room and get that bomb data. Is your objective clear? Keep an eye out for the SAX. It's these guys! But they're red now. Instead of green. Huh. Okay. I was curious. I was proven incorrect. Now I have to go recharge. Ah, wrong way. There we go. <laughs> Security level one unlocked. Blue hatch is now active. Thank you. 
Aw, they scoot along. It's interesting how the X Lake actually does mimic the, the local fauna in a way that isn't predatory. That there are non predatory X entities even as uh, mimicking Parasite. Like, biologically, that's interesting to me. All right. Explosives download. Morph, uh, bomb data download. Morph into a ball and press bomb. Such a good bomb. Wait a second. You hear that? You hear those steps? Big problem occur. Also, that big explosion. Yeah, she, uh... She kind of broke that. Okay. Wait a sec. Oh, there's no bomb jumps? Interesting. I could have sworn there was, but I guess not. Alright. Uh, we are so damaged. Only ten. Ten per each. Well, it's better than nothing. Why? Why? <sighs> Terrible. What an interesting way for those to evolve, to develop the same thorn spike attack as the roses. I hate this room so much. Another 
save room. That respawn mechanic of the enemies in this is so interesting to me. That one came as a red. Well, that's messed up. I don't understand. Am I supposed to drop down from there? I think so. Okay.
high jump and jump ball abilities recovered. You know, the ability that we got in Super Metroid, jump ball, that's totally an ability we got in the last game. We totally got that before the world exploded. Totally. That's totally something we got. <gasps> they went to sleep. They went to sleep. The bugs went to sleep. They're gonna hatch later. It makes me happy. All right. I'd say that's probably a good stopping point for now. Got you folks a taste of this game, and we'll continue it soon. But uh, I do have a party that I'm expected to go to, and tonight was supposed to be just kind of a, a sneak stream anyways in the first place. So let's see who you want to go go ahead and raid over to for the night. Uh, let's, let's turn on our music here. Switch over to this here. And yeah, let's see. Hmm. Maybe we will send you folks over to... Hmm. Nobody else is playing anything quite like what I was running here, unfortunately. I'd say the... Uh, unfortunately, the closest thing that we're looking at here is either going to be... Slay the Spire or... Somebody doing Final Fantasy. Thank you, Basta. Thank you everybody for dropping in tonight. It's been an absolute blast getting to play this with you folks. I look forward to doing so again soon. Again, as usual, expect to have our usual start time about 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, Monday evening. So, another two nights from now. And, uh, yeah. Well, not tomorrow. The night after. That's an easier way to say that. AC20. You know, I'll send you over to Crazy Mango. Mango's cool. I like watching Mango. Blah. Blah. And we'll do a green glow dog ring. And two, three. All right. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out in the background tonight and for those who were able to take part in the chat, as well as those who just watched the VOD to see the end of Super Metroid and the beginning of Metroid 4 Fusion. We'll see you all again soon. We'll start again with either some story time stuff or some more roguelikes or maybe just a bit more platforming. I've been having a lot of fun with it lately. Hope to see you all again soon. Love you all. Bye. Oh, wait, wait. Kareen. Boop, boop, boop.